And now the news that almost nobody wants to hear unless you own a ski resort or happen to be an avid skier. More snow is on the way. Meteorologist John Faselli standing by live for us right now in Bridgewater. Before we get to the actual forecast, how's that for a teaser? John, give me a sense of what we saw today. Uh, there was, what, hopefully a considerable amount of melting? Good evening, Mike. You know, the roads in New Jersey today bare dry on the highways. Not so bad on the secondary, but really when you get back into the residencies, you start to see snow still in existence. And one thing that I noticed as I drove through central Jersey today was that there's no trucks out brining, really. You're not seeing the salt being spread. So uh, it, it is going to be an impact, the fact that there is little to go around at this point in this point of the uh, very exhaustive winter that we've had. And tomorrow it will get slippery. All right. And in terms of exhausting, go ahead, give us the uh, the news, because I understand we do have snow, which is what, almost a foregone conclusion. How much, depending upon where we are in the state, are we likely to get? We're going to get a few inches tonight. Right now, it's clear skies completely where I'm in Bridgewater, which really allows us to get cold. And we're going to bottom out as cold as this air mass is capable of providing, basically. So the temperatures are headed for the low 20s tonight across New Jersey. The clouds roll in in the morning. So there's no opportunity for any warm-up except maybe down on the South Jersey coast. So by the time snow gets going around 7, 8, 9 o'clock and then really starts becoming more steady in the afternoon, we're looking at maybe a slushy inch or two far down south in Cape May County, 1 to 3 for the central part of the state. But it could be 2 to 4 or even 4, 5, 6 inches in the far northwest corner. Wow. Uh, is it going to last long? Is it going to blow through quickly? For that matter, is it going to blow at all? Because is it going to be windy like we've seen in some of these previous snowfalls? Yes. And in fact, a little bit of a breeze today. It's about 35 degrees right now, but the wind chill makes it feel like it's already in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, we'll see that wind pick up in intensity as well. It's another developing coastal storm. As it pulls away, the winds will strengthen behind it, and we will see winds maybe 15 to 20 miles an hour with some more gusts, especially if you're out near the water. Anyone in coastal locations will see the winds as well. But it is a quick mover, and I think by, say, uh, 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow night, we should see things settling back down. At this point, John, it Everybody is holding out some hope, once again, skiers and ski resort owners notwithstanding, that we're about to see some warmer weather come through. We've been unseasonably cold much of this winter. Is there anything on the horizon to give us just a wee bit of hope about that? We just got to get through this weekend, Mike. We got to get through the snow tomorrow. It'll be cold on Sunday, but I think that we return to more seasonable temperatures for the early part of the week next week, say low 40s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, things really start to moderate. And by Friday, we might make a run for the 50 degree mark statewide. Wow, 50 degrees. Music to our ears. John Faselli, we thank you very much. John Faselli reporting live for us this evening from Bridgewater.